I got it. You have to use that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> love that. I love it. Hey Hi guys, guys. Happy, happy International, International Women's Day. Day. No. Yes. So mm -hmm. today, Paula and I are going to a sugaring appointment. So sugaring has gotten really popular in Barbados over the last year or so. Everyone mm -hmm. is like moving from waxing to the sugaring. sugaring. Mm -hmm. We've been going for the past two years or so. Yeah. Um, we go to the Lady Gardener. Yeah. We love you, Eliza. We're going yes. to see you soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, excited. Um, yeah, so mm -hmm. we are just going to talk to you today about sugaring. Mm -hmm. And we decided to pick a a female black owned business here in Barbados yes. to highlight for our women's a day vlog. vlog. So yeah, come along with us. Yes. So let's go. Yeah. I was a student, 
mm -hmm. a one week trip. So I would have done the last same module. Mm -hmm. And it was really on to like a different step. And I got accepted to do the course in Buffalo, New York at Alexander Professional Children. Mm. And which is this? Alexandria. Professional. Yay. So. And there are not many people here in Barbados. Oh. That yeah. are, that just two, that yeah, are trained. Okay. So then, I went on up to New York, got the required documentation, went mm -hmm. on up to New York. And when I did the first day of the course, I was like, oh crap, what did I do? <laughs> it was the hardest course of my life. It was like, just getting to manipulate the sugar, I couldn't get it manipulated, it was, but it, all it was, took was practice. And mm -hmm. what I like at Xander Professional Sugar Inc. course mm -hmm. is that unlike other sugar brands, well, from the ones I know, mm -hmm. or the ones I know, you have to actually study for, well, you do the course for two days, and then you have 30 days that you have to actually practice. Oh, so you have to get you like hours. Have, yeah. So you just don't just, Jump in and start, let me start sugaring somebody. And then it was to the student. So then I couldn't do sugaring right away. Anyhow, so I had to get certified to be a beauty therapist, then to do the sugar. I was then certified. After I did the 30 days, I did the review. I passed the review. And then I had to wait till I graduated to get my, my sugaring certificate to allow me to then start practicing or start offering it as a service. All right. And then, as time goes on, you know, it does really love the industry. I love the sugaring. I used to offer waxing, but mm -hmm. then I stopped. Because for me, sugaring was a better fit for what I like. And for my skin, I can get it for a lot of both. So I just think right. one, because this is what I really believe in. Okay. So where did the name The Lady Gardener come from? I always want a story to tell. <laughs> so I was reading, because I was so engrossed in waxing, I was reading a British waxing book. Mm -hmm. And I saw the name Lady Garden. But the Lady Garden is referring to the Cuba area of a woman. Okay. So I was like, that sounds interesting. Lady Garden? So I started playing with the words a little bit and I was like, Lady Gardener. And I was like, okay, I like that. And it could be like double entendre name. Mm -hmm. It could refer to, yes, the female anatomy, but it could be that I, I swing from, perfect, from a perception like, are right, both male and female flowers in the garden? So it could be gardening. Oh, okay. And not just sugar, so that's why I came with that. with sugar because it was mostly what I was planning to do. But then I added on the studio to um, capture like the pedicures right. that I had fallen in love with while I did the beauty therapy course. So most people know about waxing, mm -hmm. but what exactly is sugaring? Because this definitely doesn't look like the wax that you put on your skin to wax. Definitely not. So sugaring basically is using sugar paste to remove the hair from your skin. So it's a different form of hair removal. As I like to call it, it's the sweeter side of hair removal. No pun intended. <laughs> um, so the sugar, the sugar I do is the hand manipulation method. Why I apply the paste onto the skin and really seep it into the follicles which would bring out the hair while I flick off. And it's not as painful as what I said. As a wax. I like it because it's more natural. I can go over, once I wash the skin, I can go over the skin a couple of times. I can extract hair that is way shorter, that is required for sugaring. And sugar actually. Look at that, guys. I know, right? It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Look up. <laughs> Thank you. And the 
skin is not irritated no. at all. That is so beautiful. I can't wait for you to see. Yeah. <laughs> for you to see what like the sugar looks like on your leg. Yeah. And it doesn't hurt. I got my legs done and I don't really feel anything. Maybe one here was a little more painful than the other. I want to have a disclaimer right there with Paula saying that, <laughs> right? Because Paula doesn't grow much hair on her legs. No, she doesn't. I don't want that true. So I feel like take that with a grain of sugar, not salt. Take that with a grain of sugar. What she's saying, because okay, I know if you have more hair on your legs, it gonna hurt a little more. Yeah, you feel a little pinch. A pinch. <laughs> Okay, so Shanta is having her underarm sugaring done. And Shanta, why do you choose to um, sugar your underarms? Well, I was getting them waxed before. And nothing was exactly wrong with them. But I could not talk. <laughs> when I was getting my underarms waxed, like how I'm speaking now, it mm -hmm. definitely was more painful for sure. Mm -hmm. In general, you would have recommended the sugaring to me. Yes. I, I get way less ingrowns. I'm very prone to ingrowns, especially like my bikini area. Mm -hmm. And I don't get to half of the ingrowns that I used to get. Like I used to get so many and it has decreased significantly. So sugaring is the way. It is. If you, if you suffer with ingrowns, sugaring is the way and it's not as painful as waxing, for sure. All right, guys, so Shanta's having her Brazilian being done now. <laughs> On a level of 1 to 10, where are you in the pain scale? I don't even know, but okay, there's certain places that hurt more than others. Than others. Like there. <laughs> <laughs> like there's certain places that hurt more than others. Fair enough. But as you can see, it really isn't that bad because I can laugh. Mm -hmm. I have never had a Brazilian wax, so I can't compare it like, to a full Brazilian wax. Mm -hmm. But. This is manageable pain that you can talk through for the most part. You're only really feeling it when you get the pull. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Aziz is good at doing like big sections. And getting so, it quickly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't take it doesn't take long. Mm -hmm. But it's the different areas and I don't want to call those areas. But we girls know what those areas are. I guess sometimes every area is different for certain people. Yeah. But so there are certain areas that are a little more painful yes <laughs> than others mm -hmm. so but if i give a pain tolerance what's a tolerable pain so like three four maybe i guess i guess like a three or a four okay cool but it used to be it, the first time mm -hmm. prepared to be a little uncomfortable especially if you haven't ever done a wax or a sugaring before mm -hmm. the first time is going to be a little uncomfortable but after that it gets easier every time so okay. it really isn't as painful as people will want to make it seem mm -hmm. but everyone's pain tolerance as well is it's different. different so if you have a high pain tolerance this is not going to be painful for you at all okay so, Aliza, what are some of the things that somebody should know when they've booked a Brazilian sugar? Like, how to prepare and what to expect when they're coming? Well, with sugaring, you need at least, well, I will always tell a person if it's the first time, mm -hmm. do two weeks of hair growth. Okay. Um, as I have said before, generally, like, an eighth of an inch is what you is required for sugaring. But... I would aim for a little bit more just to only say so because everybody here grows different. Yeah. And in terms of texture and skin, all that is taken into account. So at least two weeks of hair. Um, I would always tell my clients to exfoliate because that takes away the fill-up of dead skin cells on the skin. Moisturize, yes, even the skin down there once you're not allergic. Mm -hmm. You can use something as simple as shea butter, yojoba oil, and there are a lot of um, skincare products that you could utilize in your regime mm -hmm. or your routine to help soften up the skin cells so that when put exfoliating and moisturizing goes hand in hand, and once you do that, you will realize that you're just effortlessly just leaves the follicles. <laughs> 
All right. <laughs> Shot that good? I got a good nine okay. out of the area. <laughs> it's one of those areas that's just, I, me too. I do. What are some of the thoughts that go through your head when you're getting sugar? Um, stop shaking. <laughs> Because sometimes it will shake. Because mm -hmm. it's just your body, I guess, being a little, it's kind of like anticipating that you're going to get that pull. Mm -hmm. But I think now my shaking has considerably lessened. Right, Elisa? Yes, it has, <laughs> definitely. I used to shake a lot just because you're frightened. And sweat. And sweat. <laughs> but not much else. Not like much before. So, okay. But it really is not that bad. And you will know because you go back and do it. So once you're gonna go back and do it, you mm -hmm. know, really ain't that bad. Okay. So this is the ending of the <laughs> sugaring process. You don't have to have your legs in the air like this. I guess you could tuck them, but I prefer to have them in the air. Yeah? Or you could go to the side. <laughs> or you could go to the side. So you could do knees to chest, or you could go over to the side. What do you like about pedicures, like getting your pedicure done? I really like it because I like to see my toes pretty. I like like <laughs> bright colors on my toes, although I've been sticking to white a lot lately. But I also come to Lisa because her pedicures are a bit different to other people's pedicures. Okay. And um, it's a lot to do with maintaining the feet and not just so much always getting like pretty toes, even though that's my favorite part. Okay. So. What makes your pedicures then different? So like, if I went to a spa. Oh, you know you always love story, right? <laughs> uh, we always have this night. That's true. So when I first, after I was certified as a therapist, I found I was getting a lot of clients who had foot issues. Mm -hmm. And not just like, issues that I wanted to correct, but I didn't think I had the knowledge base to do that. So I seeked out and I went and did the Certified Master Pedicures Program mm -hmm. in North American School of Pedology and that's where you learn how to take care of people that have that diabetic mm -hmm. immune compromise mm -hmm. so you've got cancer clients. Oh. I haven't seen any cancer clients though mm -hmm. as yet. But immune compromise, um, persons that will have like, different things that going on, like up the leg, mm -hmm. Maybe they have something called CBI, which is chronic venous insufficiency, and they probably don't even know it's chronic venous insufficiency. Ah. <clears throat> um, or person that has viral veins, or maybe somebody that has an lymphedema. I have somebody that had an lymphedema, ah. um, and it was because of the training I recognized it was lymphedema, and they did tell me they were being treated for that. Oh, okay. And they were on medication. So those types of persons, you have to do a much gentler pedicure mm -hmm. and the product that I use I absolutely love because it is family friendly and it can work for any and everybody. Okay. And it's safe. Okay, okay.
guys hey hey so we just got finished we're actually home now yes parked mm -hmm. but i got a brazilian sugaring and an underarm sugaring paula got a half leg yes. of sugar and a pedicure, pedicure. Mm -hmm. so those were the four services that we got from Aliza, the lady gardener yes. i really hope that you guys check out her page mm -hmm. please go and check out her instagram show her some love yeah, of course of course show her some, some love, love mm -hmm. because she is one of the most lovely women mm -hmm. that we have met and we Agreed. just want to big her up today on women's international day because yeah. we love you very much Aliza. we do it's so much more than just a service that we get from her and mm -hmm. we really appreciate to her and everything that is Elisa and once you go there you're gonna know exactly what we're talking about it's true so I guess that's it for wrapping up this vlog thank you for hanging with us yes. as usual mm -hmm. but before we go we have a giveaway for you guys with the lady gardener so you have the opportunity to win a free on the arm sugaring yeah with her with Elisa so what you need to do is just head over to our Instagram, Paula X Chantel, where you can find out all the information on how you can win. Yeah. Yes. So without further ado, this is Paula. And this is Chantel. And, and we, we are PXC. PXC. See you in the next one, guys. Bye. Bye.